Welcome back to Good Morning Lola, and I'm so honored. We have Dr. Theo in the house, who is a healer, a chiropractor, and a hypnotherapist. Wow, that's a lot. I love that. No wonder you have a book called Be a Master. You're pretty much branding Be a Master. Be a Master of Psychic Energy, Be a Master of Sex Energy. How did you become a master? Lots of dedication to my profession and my patients. I just love people. Specifically after my two open heart surgeries and semi-paralysis from a pool accident, Wow. I had a lot to learn. I was a very, I guess you could say, egotistical, uh, angry guy. I had a lot mm -hmm. of anger inside because I was um, beat up as a child, as many people today, especially in this environment right now, are. They're being beat down by people around them and there's, in the environment. Mm -hmm. So I learned within myself how to pick myself up and really give myself the tools no one else could around me. Mm -hmm. And I kept asking and asking. And then I connected to my spiritual power and then everything changed. I love that. They say that people are only given what they can handle in life. And I do believe that when we choose to be a master and we choose to be a healer, we oftentimes bring on a lot of challenges so that we have compassion, so that we have that perspective. Correct. And I think it's really fascinating and uh, really real that you say uh, that we learned that you were you attempted suicide yes. at 10 years old. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Things were very dark. Uh, being the smallest person in my class, I was unable to kind of, um, I guess, be with the cool crowd. I was always an easy target just because of my small stature. So I, get to, I got to see a part of psychology, you know, of human beings and people and how they treated me after I changed my, my look. And I was like, wow, I'm the same person. How in the world are you treating me so differently now? And I got to see the ugly side of, of things and I got to see the good side of people. Mm -hmm. So the good and the bad. It really started my, my learning into mastering my life until my first heart surgery and semi paralysis issue took me into a healing journey at that point. So what happened there exactly uh, with the open heart surgeries and the paralysis? What led to I, was, that? I went to Greece uh, on a vacation with my family and then in the pool, someone, we were monkeying around, they were on my shoulders and the guy fell, took my head with him, snapped my neck. Oh God. In the pool, they put me out up. In two, for two months, I was in just in pain. I had searing hot pain every time I turned. I couldn't turn to you, Rob. I'd have to do my whole body like that. For two whole months, I went to every doctor possible, surgery, drugs, you know, the route. Um, went to a chiropractor last minute. Changed my life. I felt power like the thunder of God just come through me. And at that moment, I dedicated my life to what it is I do right now. Wow. That's so powerful. Thank you for sharing yeah. that. I'm sure you... You did a lot of self-reflection during your healing and during your pain. And I'm wondering, what is it that you learned about yourself during that time? That I have inside of me a power that is greater than anything this world could show me. Mm. And everyone has that. Everyone has it. We're all a reflection of each other and we can learn from each other or we can put each other down. We have the choice. And the mastery of our lives comes from our decision on what we choose. Got chills, speaking our language. No, that, that's mm -hmm. so true. It, it's so important then to be a master of your own self-love. Right. It all starts with that. Once you start to love yourself, you can reflect for other people what it is that you feel. And they feel it too. And when they feel it, it's, you know, it takes off. It's like a rocket ship. For someone who's not self-loving and doesn't particularly love themselves and they judge themselves a lot, where does a person start to begin to learn how to self -love? Great question. I always, I always start with forgiveness. Forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Not just the person that flips you off while you're driving in LA traffic, <laughs> but also the person who is closest to you. Your father, your mother, your brother, your sister. All the people that you live with and have karmic relationships with that are the hardest relationships to heal. Uh, you know, a lot of it we deal with the subconscious mind. And yes. then you, you're a hypnotherapist, which is very right. similar. So what do you, how do you believe, what, how does that impact people? Well, how do you transform people's world through hypnotherapy? Excellent question. Hypnotherapy is the basis of the subconscious. That's how you can touch the people, anybody, it doesn't matter who they are, no matter what ailment they have. You can touch that person's soul. You can reach down really deep. And hypnotherapy came into my life after the heart surgeries. I had to heal myself. I had to tell my body what to do. Because after you come out of a hospital, the majority of healing happens outside those walls. It happens inside these walls. Right? but mostly between these walls. It's very important for me to develop something because nothing was available for me. Mm -hmm. So that's why I developed the Kusuli method 
a method of body and mind healing together. And I wrote eight books. It just flowed through me. And patients just love it and they, they're seeing amazing results. So what is now. the method? The Kassili method is basically four steps. Remove what doesn't belong in the body. You know, remove it, remove all the junk, remove all the bad programming. Two, reconnect the mind and the body through chiropractic nervous system. Three, rebuild the body, nourish it, hydrate it. And then four, reset the mind. Reset the mind through hypnotherapy, emotional reconditioning. And then to, to, if you do all those, then you have a chance at real healing. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure that there are other people out there like me who cringe at the idea of hypnotherapy. That terrifies me. When you say you're going to reach down and see my soul, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want you to actually do that. <laughs> well, real healing has to happen internally to progress into an external manifestation. And that is scary because when we know we're going to attack the root source of something, our soul may not be ready to deal with the outcome of that. Absolutely. Yes. I, there's so many emotions that I just kind of sweep under the rug because I think, oh, I don't have time to deal with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've got a lot going on. Right. It's a priority thing. And also it's an ego thing. We have to get over the ego and get into the higher mind. And we have two energies working. We have the higher mind always guiding and protecting us. And then we have the ego mind, which is like a shell on this earth. And we also are humans. So we are living a human experience, obviously, as spiritual beings. So what I would suggest in that is to sit down, write the pros and the cons of why you would make the decision or why you choose not to. Remember, choice is where the power is at. I love that. So very, very powerful. Thank you so much. How can people work with you? Where can they find you? Well, if they want to become a patient, they can reach me at, uh, at the website, drkasuli.com. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, the whole thing. It's not hard to reach me if you need help. I'm more than happy to help. If, uh, if you reach out and ask me specific questions, I can I also give you, you know, direct you in the right direction. I path. love that. And he also has nine books, so you can actually... <laughs> well, nine's being written right now. Okay, That's eight so books. Wonderful. Stay tuned for the nine, so you can do a little research yourself before you reach out with any questions. Yeah, yeah, it's beamaster.com for the books or any teaching material. All right, we could, so we could talk so with you all day long. Yeah, Amazing work. Um, love to have you back again and follow the journey for sure. So stay tuned, you guys. We'll be right back.